Welcome to our video series on advanced features in Microsoft Word. In this video, we'll explore the different views available in Word. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the different views available in Word. First of all, I'm working here in Word 2000, and I've opened up one of the Microsoft default templates the fax cover sheet template, and the different views are available in the bottom left here. There's normal view, web layout view, print layout view, and outline view. These different views are also available through the view menu as you see here, normal, web layout, print layout, and outline. So this is how normal view looks, and how things look in normal view are pretty much how they'll look on the printed page, but not entirely as they would look. It's a convenient view to work in, but for example, in print layout view, you see things more as they would look on the printed page, as you can see, including on the bottom of the page. It shows you footers, and headers, and so on. And while it's an advanced topic that I won't go into at this stage, headers and footers are information added automatically to the top and bottom of every page. For example, the page number at the bottom would be the footer, and in normal view, Headers and footers are not immediately viewable, as you can see. I'm used to working in the normal view, and I find it a convenient way to work. And if I want to double check what something looks like, I can simply go File, Print Preview, and here I can simply zoom in and take a look to see exactly how it would look on the printed page before I print it. And as you can see, this is pretty similar to the print layout view. So this is normal view, and web layout, and that's how that looks in an attempt to show how your page would look as a web page. Print layout view, and again, that's how that looks, pretty similar to the print preview screen, but unlike Print Preview, you can work and make all the edits, all the additions and edits you need here in the Print Layout view, whereas Print Preview is strictly for previewing your document. And as I mentioned, there's also Outline view. Outline view looks quite different from all the others, because you have all this extra information here, and it's really designed to show you how a document is structured. You can take elements of the document, for example this line here, and click, hold, and drag it, and move it. So it allows you to change the structure of the document quickly in Outline View. Okay, I have Word 2003 open here, and I have one of the Resume or Curriculum Vati templates open, and they're pretty much the same views. Normal, Web Layout, Print Layout, and there's also Outline, and a Reading Layout. And these are all accessible here as well. Normal, Web Layout, Print Layout, Outline View, and Reading Layout. And if we go to that, that's how that looks. And we can increase text size if we wish, or decrease the text size, and we can scroll through the document. So these are the views available. As I mentioned, I generally work in normal view because that's how I'm used to working. And then I can always use Print Preview or the Print Layout view if I want to see how it might look on the actual printed page. 
but of course you can work in whichever view you're most comfortable with. Some views are better for some things than others. For example, the outline view, as I demonstrated, is really for helping you rearrange the structure of the document and helping you understand the structure. It's worth noting that some of the more advanced features of Word, for example, inserting images into your documents and having the text flow around the images, would be viewable in a view such as Print Layout View. It would be clear to see that the text flowed around the image, but in normal view, such advanced features really don't come through very clearly. You would just see the text, and then the image by itself, effectively as a separate paragraph, then with further text below it. So, it's something to bear in mind, that some advanced features, such as the one I mentioned of having text flow around an image in the middle of a document, won't come through very clearly in normal view.